Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I'm actually doing a hair tutorial. Um, so I've been wearing this really cute side braid for a couple days now. I think I first did it on Saturday, and this is Tuesday for me, Wednesday for you. Um, but yeah, I really like it, and I wore it in my video yesterday, and I did have a couple people mention like on a couple of my Instagram pictures that they really liked it and a couple of them asked how I did it so I thought I'd just show you guys in a video because uh, I really like it and I think it's just a really cute um, braid to do and it's kind of different uh, so yeah I'm gonna take my glasses off and I had my hair in a ponytail so I'm just gonna take it down and this is how my hair is naturally just wavy and bushy and stuff and yeah so I'm just going to kind of split it at first because I'm going to brush through it first. This is just a paddle brush from the brand Bell um, and I haven't cleaned it out for a while so I had to do that real quick. So I'm just going to brush through it real quick. I forgot to brush my hair this morning so my hair is actually really tangly. My hair, if I don't brush it like every single day, then it gets so tangled and it's horrible. I guess I should have brushed my hair before I started filming. So it's like those couple pieces right on top that never want to get untangled. And yeah. Alright, so that's my hair brushed completely through pretty much. Um, and just before I braid it, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> excuse me, sorry. I'm going to take this Garnier... I don't know how to say this. Frutis Style, I think is how you say it. Um, it's with fruit micro waxes I guess and it's the chic and, chic and sleek and shine I can't talk anti-humidity smoothing milk and it's instant smoothing and frizz control and the thing on it is strong uh, so this is what it looks like it just pretty much smooths down your dead ends I'm not going to take very much of this it's not that much it smells so good and I'm just going to take this through the bottom of my hair. Just a little bit and then just run it through the top. Just to kind of smooth everything down. And then I'll just, I'm going to brush everything to one side. You can do whichever side you want to. I just pretty much always put it on my right side. Not really sure why. But it's just the side I like having it on. And also, I suggest after using that, if like using some hand sanitizer or something, because it does make your hands kind of sticky. I'm just going to use a little bit of that real quick. That's just regular Germex that I had. Okay, so you're going to split it into three sections like you normally would a braid. Um, so I just split it there. And right here and right here. But I'm going to leave these two together right just for right now. Um, because I'm actually going to kind of tie those back out of the way. 
possibly, if my hair cooperates for once. Uh, I'm just going to tie it back and kind of put it back there. And then I'm going to brush through this first piece. Make sure it's really brushed out and really smooth and everything. And then I'm going to braid this piece first. just putting it into a regular braid. You can French braid it in the back if you want to, but I'm not going to because I don't know how to French braid. Uh, do I have another rubber band? I don't see one. Darn. Darn. How am I going to do this? I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm just going to take this <clears throat> little rubber band for hair and just tie the end off. Um, I went pretty close to the end, just not all the way. Um, I still had about that much left. And please ignore the bottom of my hair. I know it's dead. I know I need to cut it. But yeah. So then I'll just take this part down again. <clears throat> and I'll get the next section. And just, I'm getting a piece from the bottom. Oh crap. Okay. Just rush this one out. Just like before. And then put it in three strands as well. And just braid it. And I'm putting these kind of tight just because I want them to stay in. The tighter I put my braid, the more wavier it makes my hair. Um, that's kind of why I'm putting it in super tight. But you can put it in really loose or really tight. It's just however you like to keep your braid. Alright, and now I'm close to the bottom on this one. So I'm just going to tie it off with my scrunchie um, just to keep it in place and so it doesn't come undone while I'm braiding the last piece. And pretty much same as before, just brush it out. And this part of my hair is thicker, uh, that's why the braid's going to look bigger, but it'll look alright once we get to the end. <clears throat> and then I try to make sure I braid it back far enough so it stays behind my ear, but this one I think I started too far up. But, it's fine. Now I'll just take the hairbands that I had in the other two pieces out, possibly, because I'm holding my hair with one hand and taking it out with the other. 
but you want to be quick and kind of easy so that they don't come unbraided. But I'm just going to braid all three together like a normal braid. And you want to make sure you don't like squeeze the braids too tightly like in your hand or else you will unbraid them. And then once you get to the bottom, maybe, I think I just lost the, oh no I didn't, it's up here. But it's knotted. Come on. Alright, this is fine. I'm just going to take... It, it broke. Oh well, I'll just take my scrunchie because I don't have another hairband around. Actually, yes I do. I'll be right back. I'm back. I went and got a little um, hairband because I remembered I had some in my jewelry box over there on top of my thing. I don't know what it's called. My makeup bookshelf thingy. <laughs> And yeah, so this is the braid complete. I don't really know what I'd call it. I think it's super cute. Um, I just think it's really different. Some people might think it's a mess. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, normally I try to make the braids a little bit more the same size, but it didn't really work out that way this time. But I'm just going to take this uh, hairspray and spray through my hair real quick. This is the All Weather Aquanet Super Hold Professional Hairspray and this is in the fresh scent. I had this stuff when I just started my YouTube channel and I saw a graveyard girl use it and I decided to try it and I saw it at the store <clears throat> and I picked it up and I love it and my mom loves it and it makes your hair really flexible and it it makes it so it stays but at the same time it makes it so it's not stiff. Um, which I really like. And there's not like an overpowering scent. There's really not a scent that I can think of. Well, like that I can smell or anything. But it doesn't taste the best. But. <laughs> Alright. I think that's enough here to try. I get crazy on hairspray when I use it because I just like don't move. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys the back real quick. This is what the back looks like. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video and would like more me to do more hair tutorials, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Upload every single day. Um, also, if there's any other videos you guys would like to see, please put those in the comments below, and I will definitely do them for you. And, yeah, I'm out of breath. Uh, all my links are below, and, yeah, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!